About to tip it off. You got to talk about Kayla Padilla, be it someone to watch for Penn, and certainly on the other side, Kaylee Walsh, someone to watch for Northwestern, both coming off fantastic performances as Maddie McGurk takes it into the front court. And here is Kayla Padilla coming off that 31 point effort, but a turnover on the first possession for Penn. They only had 10 of those in their 65 61 opening victory against Marist. Both these sides have had slow starts out of the gate in the first quarter. Northwestern trailed 9 nothing against Oregon three and a half minutes in. And Penn, it took them until the two-minute mark left. It was eight minutes into the first quarter before they got their second bucket. Nice slip inside at Courtney Shaw. It's North. Kayla Rainey, Sydney Wood, Jillian Brown, Kaylee Walsh, and Courtney Shaw out there for the Wildcats. How about this wide open look at Sydney Wood connects. Sydney Wood, remember, this is her first home game since mid-November last year. She got hurt on November 21st in the game at DePaul. Missed the rest of the season. Didn't play in the exhibition game here last week. But she was back in her first regular season action at Oregon. And now she's back playing at Welsh Ryan Arena. And how about drilling her first field goal attempt and it being a triple. Floor Tunders, the Florida transfer. And the three hoisted at Barry. Nothing but net from McGurk. McGurk hit a really important three-pointer in that home opener that we were talking about, Max, and she's going to be a threat from the arc if Northwestern can't contain her. Yeah, she was just one for six. The rest of the team outside of Padilla was one of 19 from three, but that three, as you mentioned, came from McGurk, and it came at a really crucial time. Skip pass over to Kayla Rainey. She made her first start in her career last time out, and Walsh hits the mid-range jet. Meeting between these two sides, Northwestern has won the first three. As there is a three hoisted by Brown, goes, gets her own shot, splits the double, and gets the bucket. Now out to the wing for Alquist. Back top of the key, triple for McGurk. She hit the first, can't connect this time. Strong rebound in the paint by Obi. And another chance. And an open three from the right corner is good for Alquist. Julian Brown out in transition. They have a three on two if they want it. Brown up with the left, no good. Another offensive rebound for Shaw, and they reload, and the three is up and good for Kayla Rainey. The of Northwestern tries to push out in transition to get to Penn before they could set up his two three. Walsh on the drive, can't find the iron. Padilla, who's been one of the best players in the Ivy League her entire career. She's now a senior from Torrance, California. There's the drive and the floater. Rolls around and down, triple. Padilla puts it on the floor, good defense from Wood. Baseline jumper, around it out. Now he's Silko Milliman. Wow, a look inside, Mott drops that with the left, that was pretty. Put Paige Mott in, and that's what you expect her to do, put up those easy points in the paint. Great start for Paige Mott today. Mott making it look easier. Mott played basketball with Penn State in one year in the WNBA. Seven-point lead for Northwestern. No points in the last 2.15 for the Quakers. And Padilla still has been held off the board. Floater is up and good, though, for Mandy McGurk. Three zone. Not on the baseline. And a Morris, her first action. That rims out, no good. Brown fights for and gets the offensive rebound. Northwestern really crashing the offensive glass. Inside to Morris, lobs it up. Mott is right there to finish. That junior, junior connect. Interior passing here in the opening quarter for Northwestern. McGirt. 30 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Wow, looking to push up for one who puts it down. They get the fast break and then slow it down, reset, but sometimes you just got to go for it and it paid off there. And the speed, quickness, and agility up full display there for the first year. Caroline Wow as well in transition. And finally getting on the board with the last shot of the quarter. And she already has a 30-point game here, one game into this season. Certainly a player to watch as a senior here in the Ivy League. She's going to be one of the best in that league, a league that is projected to be won by Prince that has been so terrific last year and into this year. Penn picked fifth in the Ivy preseason. And the three is bullseye for Car- Inside the go to Milliman, but it's stripped away. Caroline Lau on the wing for Morris. Northwestern chat, 44.4% in that opening 10 minutes. Leading by eight, eight and a half to go here in the first half. Skips it over, that was a tough pass. Handled by Wood, driving all the way in and kisses it off the glass. 8% from there last year. Milliman driving in on Walsh. 
And it's too strong. Walsh gets the rebound. That's already her fifth of the afternoon. Inside they go to Walsh with the right. That's the five minute mark left here in the opening half. Shaw trying to drive, turns around and it's blocked away by Jordan Obi. Obi leading this Penn squad in blocks last year, averaging 1.2 per game, showing off a little bit of her skill there. But he has been getting the shots up. She's taken seven. She's only made one, though. And she was flashing through the lane and maybe open there before the double comes. And now a mismatch with Rainey guarding Obi, but they go the other way. It's swinging around. Trying to find somebody. Obi from the corner. Kind of made the difference in a couple of those close conference games. It's side turning and getting to the hoop. Was Tunders. Nice contest for Brown, who's been great defensively. And the floater is in for McGregor. Matching up against each other. That's 6-4 on 6-4. Another look for Sawyer. And rims out. But the putback is right in for Almquist. Almquist ready to go. Took that fall. Now wants to get her team back on track. Try to put something up last minute before this half ends. Did a good job there. If she comes down with that ball, it's going to be a contested shot on the way back. Instead, she caught it in the air, put it right back, still in the air. Walsh, that dribble handoff to Sydney Wood. Knifing through the way, kicks it out to Rainey from the right corner. Huge three, the lead is... Drives the baseline. Nice balance there from Walsh, almost threw it away. But Rainey finds a lane too strong. Shaw, that's another offensive rebound, and she gets the putback. That's her ninth board of the day. And it comes on offense, which makes all the more difference and such a skill for her that she's really been showing off in this contest. Open in the middle is Obi turns, floats, and hits. Setting a screen away from the ball there for Wood as Brown has it. Behind the back dribble, the jump shot, no good. Let the rebound right back out, top of the key, and Walsh triggers and hits. That was a good idea from Kaylee Walsh. I like the way she let the ball come to her, and instead of with the immediate quick trigger, she kind of set her feet, found her footing, and it was right on target, something she struggled with last year, inconsistency from deep. But when she takes the time to slow things down and make it happen when she has the space and the time to, it always pays off. That's a fortuitous bounce off the back of the rim for Northwestern, right to an open Walsh, right where she loves to shoot it from beyond the arc at the top of the key. She's defending inside. Tunders gets on the board. Her first point of the afternoon. Lead at 12 for Northwestern. Rainey, who's got six points. She's two of six from the field. Two of three from deep already. Looks like a hook shot pass over to Shaw, who spins in the lane and connects. Shaw was wide open. Instead, Wood's going to trigger herself. She's off the mark. Shaw was flashing her hands up in there. She thought she was open on that right block. Almost a giveaway there in the center of the court. Instead, an open look. Free throw jumper. Good for Padilla. Right at the free throw line. That's a sweet spot for her. She can kind of do it all. She can shoot off the dribble, drive in the way. Great defense here. Stolen away by McGurk, who goes coast to coast for the layup. Quick, and you see it now. There is that speed in the open floor. She was open for a second, but Wood got it stripped away. And out moving the other way is Penn. McGurk in the open floor. Finds Padilla. And the shot fake in Northwestern got back quickly on this side of the floor. They rotate it over. Padilla in the right corner. And she hits. Got injured. And so she's tried to work on it, but unfortunate to see her draw one there. The woman's pass was turned over. Northwestern has numbers in transition. Morris picks it up. Finds Mott on the left block. Here in the third quarter for Northwestern, none so far for Penn. Another bounce pass inside, another shot up with the left. That's no good for Paige Mott. Looking to run. Up ahead, McGurk floats in the mid-range. Jumper from the free throw line, cuts it back to it. McGurk has looked so strong. Neither side has really been going for that mid-range game today, and McGurk finally gets one to go. They give Mott a whole lot of space out there, which he gets the ball beyond the yard. Hartman lobs it inside her this time on the opposite block, and she gets the and one. Walsh with five points on two of six shooting. With the fancy ball handling skills there from Wow. Wood had a bit of an opening. Close quickly by OB. They go inside to Walsh with the right. Kind of crazy, a little connection there. 
all coming back together on the floor today. So some bragging rights out there on the floor. <laughs> yes. Wood has it at the free throw line, picks up her dribble, skips it over, and a look for Hartman, and she sticks it. There is the light. One had 31 points against Marist, and their team put up 65 earlier this week. She had almost half of their team's total points. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Look inside to Walsh, backing down the defender, up and in with the left this time. Both sides down low. It's really well where I see Kaylee Walsh's growth from her first year. You know, last year she was more comfortable shooting from deep at the top of the key, like you mentioned, but now she's really using her size in the paint, and it's really helping Northwestern. And with Tunders off the floor, she's got a three-inch height advantage on Alpquist, who's got the ball right now. The reversal up and in. Tries to hit again, this time a jumper no good. Another offensive rebound for Shaw. That triggering the three was wow. I would pass up ahead to McGurk. Stops, pops, and connects. They're going to need players like Shaw, Wood, and Walsh to consistently be in double figures. Bay Parker, the senior, right number 20 for Penn, is out there for the first time on the floor, trying to get them some size down low to compete against the six foot four sophomore Kaylee Walsh. McGurk driving, cut off by Wood. And here she is, her first look, the senior scores. Not play in their opener against Mara. She comes in and immediately it pays dividends. Open look for three from Wood is too strong. And corralling the rebound is all five foot six of Mandy McGurk. It's transition, Padilla, and she hits nothing but nylon. It's back. Big part of doing that, but a little stressful to see her in foul trouble uh, in a non-con game like this. For the five starters out there for Northwestern, they're joined by Leah Hartman, and another bucket is good for McGurk driving into the lane. Looks back, has a wide open Jordan Obi, and it's off the back iron. What a play by McGurk to create a wide open look. Second time they looked to Obi from the three. The first time it worked, that time it didn't, but Penn is starting to get creative. It's side to Shaw. And an errant pass, almost stolen right back away by Kayla Rainey. And then it's McGurk going the other way. Sawyer still looking for her first point. She almost just ripped another three. She is 0 for 3 from beyond the arc so far today. She played three minutes in game one. She's now played 11 minutes here at game two. And an and one for Padilla. Same thing happens again, unfortunately, for Kayla Rainey. One in and then one bounces right off. Northwestern 10 of 13 from the free throw line. Just a hair under 77% today. They were perfect. 8 for 8 for a long time. Obi for three, and she hits a big triple for Penn. I like this decision from Coach McEwen to throw Leah Hartman back in there, especially with the way Jillian Brown's shooting from the arc. Hartman answers the triple with one of her own. And now Rainey has it. And it looks like they're going to call off the defense, and Rainey could just dribble this game out. Northwestern going to win their home opener for a 14th straight time. 63-55 the final as the Wildcats get their first win of the season.